internet, welcome to this GarageBand 11 walkthrough. GarageBand, of course, part of the iLife 11 suite, sold by Apple for $49.99. I will warn you now, I don't really use GarageBand as much as I use iMovie and iPhoto, um, but I will try my hardest to talk about the things that I found, you know, effective and things that work, and uh, so I do apologize in advance. Uh, but I, I hope they, uh, hope you enjoy this video. So, uh, I'm gonna try to, like, as I'm doing this, compare to, like, last year. Um, I mean, iMovie 11, because, uh, a lot of things have, uh, compare iMo GarageBand 11 to GarageBand 09, because a lot of things have changed. They've added a lot of things. Open it. GarageBand is definitely the longest, is definitely the program that takes the longest to open up by far. Um, so, uh, let me, uh, uh, I don't really want to do Magic GarageBand. I don't really want to cover that that much because, um, in a few days, and I'll tell you right now, just let me open up my little, my little plan schedule I have for this. Okay, on Wednesday, wait, no, today is... Wednesday, okay, on, uh, whatever, on December 4th, uh, I think that's Friday or Saturday, I will have a GarageBand tutorial on how to, uh, effectively use Magic GarageBand. So for now, I'm gonna do all these other things. First, let me tell you what's new this year. Learn to play and lesson store. Those are two great new features. These literally could teach you how to play instruments, which is a big step. I, I, in my opinion, it's a big step in, you know, teaching people music. Um, guitar lessons, piano lessons, artist lessons, all these great, great things. I would go into this a little more, but I don't really have any instruments to, uh, to, sh to use. And then we go into lesson store. You could buy lessons. It's, it's really amazing all the improvements they've made. I think this may be one of, if not the biggest, biggest, uh, programs that have been advanced the most since the last one um so basically you're like singing a song with someone you're uh playing it with someone they teach you how and they tell you how you're doing so i think that's a great thing for musicians um iphone ringtone great oh i'm gonna actually show you guys one of these right now it's a great new tune if you like to make your own iPhone ringtones, like uh, jingles and stuff. I don't, I really, basically, I use the generic iPhone ringtones like marimba, but if I, every once in a while, I really like a song, I'll just buy it. It's only like a dollar, so it's not a big deal. Um, right here, I'm just going to add some loops, and it's really, really simple, so um, that's the great thing about these iLife products. Oh, you can actually hear my voice. Hmm. Let me just get some loops on top of here. Here we have all these audio things that I can randomly mix in. Um, what should I use? and photos and there are a lot of things that you could just like put in it's basically like a little editor kind of and then right here as you can see we are adding loops That's the great thing about these iLife products, you know, they, they're very well and, you know, they're, they're basically professional, uh, programs that you could use professionally, but they're not hard to use at all. There's so many features and it's really, like, well put together that it's not hard at all to use. Some of this, um, yeah, let's just drag that there. Converting. It. 
takes a video and it can automatically convert it to an audio clip. I think that's great. It's taking my movie track right there, one of my past Steven Steele shows, and it is overlaying it. I do apologize as this video is not in HD. Um, more, it's, uh, see what happens is with long videos like this, especially walkthroughs, it's like a lot for my computer to handle. Not a lot, like I could do it, but it literally, for a 10 minute video to process in high definition, it literally takes three hours, and it slows up my computer for that amount of time. So let me just play this loop right here. I don't know if you could hear that, but I think it, this is really, I, I can't even. Okay, I'm going to play it again for you guys. Yeah, there you go. That looks well put together. That looks like it actually took time. And it was so easy to put together. That was uh, a ringtone. So now what I'm going to do is, you know, exit out of that. And I'm going to do a new project. Uh, real. This is That was just for an uh, iPhone ringtone. Now what I'm going to do is if we're doing a song. Let me make sure I'm staying within the time. Okay. Still got about nine minutes left to work with. So let's just start with loops. Um, just loop. Loops, in my opinion, are the best way to make music, because if you don't know a lot about music, you know, if you don't know, like, chords and measures and beats like that, you know what sounds good, and you know what sounds good together. Put it together, whatever sounds good to you is basically, you know, what, what you'll do. And you have so many selections right here. Um, I'm just gonna throw a few on top. Sorry if they don't sound the best, uh. Jingles, travel. Try to make some in the same category so that they actually sound good together. Uh, cheerful. Right there. All right. Let's play that. Do, do, do. All right, and play. <coughs> And that was, I did that in about, you just saw how easy it was to com do all that. <sighs> Let me just start a new prod. Don't save. Start me. Let's start us a new project. New project. We'll do, what should we do this time? We'll do the same thing again because there's a lot of things I want to show you guys with this one. Processed. Mm, what should we do? Electric, clean, relaxed. All right. And there we are. Okay, let's play this out, see how it sounds. <laughs> Then you could break it down by instruments, by genre, by FX. Just randomly put. That'll be funny to put in there and see what it sounds like. And that's really. That's basically how easy it is, especially for. Uh, I see on YouTube, there's a lot of musicians on YouTube. <laughs> And of those musicians, musicians, you realize there are a lot of young people. I mean, like, teenagers to early 20s, a lot of people. And a lot of young people don't really know how to operate big softwares like Final Cut Soundtrack or big programs like that. 
Um, that's where GarageBand can come in great. Even a lot of big YouTubers still use GarageBand. <clears throat> I'm not gonna make it sound like it's only for people who don't know how to use other softwares. It is a great software all by itself, and a lot of people would pay $49.99 just for GarageBand. Um, I'm not one of those people because I don't really use GarageBand, but if I was a musician, I would definitely, definitely play. have no problem paying $50 or more for this software. Because if you think about it, it kind of does exactly what those other softwares do that are so much more money, five, dollars $600. But this is simple. It's broken down, and it teaches you how to do things. So I think that's that's a great, great thing. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Remember to check back on December 4th for the uh, GarageBand tutorial. That is only one of the many future tutorials I will have for GarageBand and all the other iLife Suite programs. Make sure to subscribe up there. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oh, remember, Apple.com, under Mac, it should be under Mac and under Programs. And it does cost $59.99. It comes with iWeb and iDVD, which haven't been updated that much since the last version. Ver version. iPhoto 11, iMovie 11, and of course this GarageBand you just saw. And I uh, will see you guys next time. Peace off.